Okay guys, I've already shot this part of the video, but I'm trying to reshoot it here. Um, it didn't seem to, uh, when I went and looked at it, it had like a big glare, so I turned the uh, laptop around and got the camera here. Hopefully there won't be much of a glare and you can make this out. So I'm going to go through these Mach 3 settings once more. Uh, that's, that's what I did in the, the last clip. And like I said, when I took it in there to look at it, uh, it was really pretty crappy. So first thing you want to do, like I said, this will be a brand new install for, for you guys. So I want to go through the very, you know, all the steps. First thing you would do would be to go to the config, come down here and select native units. Uh, now, since I've already done this once, mine is already on inches. By default, it will be millimeter. So you just pick whichever unit you want to work in. I prefer inches. So I'm going to say OK to that. Uh, the next thing we want to do, we'll come right down the line here. We'll go to port, ports and pins. Uh, since I'm using the UC100, uh, we want to make sure that this is checked for the 100 kilohertz here. Uh, because that's what the UC100 needs to run on. Uh, everything else is okay there. We're not really using anything else on that. For the motor outputs, these green checks here, you can see this column says enabled. So we want to enable the X axis, the Y axis, the Z axis, and the A axis. So we would have a green check in all of those. Uh, coming across here, the step pins. Um, for the x-axis, the step pin is 2, the direction pin is 3. For the y-axis, the step pin is 4, the direction pin is 5. For the z-axis, the step pin is 6, the direction pin is 7. And for the a-axis, the step pin is 8, and the direction pin is 9. Now if you look over here, you will see that I have a 1 in the step port and direction port for both of the uh, X, for both of the Y, and for both of the Z and A. So just make sure you have a 1 in all of those because that's the port it's going to use. And that takes care of that tab. And I think that's pretty much all we need in that, uh, that one and again I've already done this so the apply is grayed out but once you do this you want to hit the apply button and then hit OK to get out of that uh, now we'll come back over here we'll come down to uh, motor tuning um, and again like I said all this is already set I wish it hadn't have been such a crappy uh, video and I hope this video is working out we'll see but Anyway, by default, when you open up that Mach 3, it'll probably say 2,000 in the steps per unit. If you're using a Xylotex 4-axis kit like I am, uh, it's, it's set up for uh, 1 16th step, so that number needs to be 6,400. Um, you may tweak that once you get going and learn more about calibration, but 6,400 will definitely get you in the ballpark and uh, will be really close. Uh, I put 200 in here. You can tell when I hit OK, it changes it to 199.98. Uh, everything else is uh, pretty much by default, I think. Four in the acceleration, uh, step pulse, and direction pulse. I have a five there. Now, these, you're setting all the axis on the same screen. You notice up here it says X axis motor movement profile. So when you go to save this, now let me just change something so that I can show you this will light up now so you before you move on to the next uh, axis you want to make sure you click save axis settings and now we'll go to the Y and again I'm gonna I'm just gonna erase something so that it will pop open like I've changed it that, you know like I said that normally would be 2000 by default so I put my 6400 in there I set that at 200 uh, and I want to come over here and I want to hit save axis because now I'm saving the y-axis settings uh, When I come down to the Z I normally don't run the Z as fast here. I'll change this again Like I said, it would be 2000, but I'm going to put in 6400 120 is what that is by default and that's good enough for the Z uh, A lot of people may even run it slower than that uh, okay, everything else is the same, so I want to hit save axis settings there. And now when I come to this A axis, 
this is really what all the other ones would have looked like by default. You notice it's got 2,000 uh, steps per and really you don't have to set up the A-axis because you're going to slave it with the Y. So it's going to pick up whatever settings you have with this Y-axis. So uh, that being said, you're all done here so you can hit OK and get out of that screen. Now we'll come back and while we're talking about uh, that slave axis, we'll go ahead and come down here to where it says slave axis again because I've already done this once. Mine's already set up, but you would just by default it would have none in all of those. So you just check the A axis where the Y axis is because that's the two you want to slave together and then you would click OK. And also notice it says restart Mach 3 after setting these selections. So we'll be, we'll be restarting Mach 3. Um, you know, we'll shut it down and start it back before we go to jog it around. Okay, now we'll, again, all this is already done, but we're going to go through the motions here. To set the hotkeys, uh, you know, you've got X plus. So I know when I click on that, it says press any key. So I want to hit the right arrow key, and it will put a 39 in there. The to go take the x-axis to the left, which is a minus, I want to hit the left arrow key and that will put a 37. And like I said, you're not seeing these change. Normally they would all be 999 and uh, but I've already put them in there and, and uh, so they're already set. So but that's how you that's how you set. For the Z, uh, I hit uh, for the plus, I hit page up. And for the minus to bring the Z down, I hit page down. So everything is real easy to remember. If you're standing in front of your machine, you want the X to go to the right, you push the right arrow key to the left, the left arrow key, page up, page down, moves the Z up and down. It's really, uh, really simple. Okay, so now we'll come back here. We finished the motor tuning, the hot keys. The homing limits, and again, I've already had to do this. So, this is what you change uh, if you have something running backwards. For example, when I went to press the right arrow key, the x axis went to the left. So, all I had to do was come here and change this little check right here. It was an x. So, I just changed the x to a, a uh, check mark, and now it will go the right direction. It's reversed. Same thing with the Y. I had to reverse the Y, and you can see I also had to reverse the A uh, to get them to run the way I want to. So those are all set. And I believe that's about it. We're just about ready to... Yeah, that's pretty much it. We can hit save those settings, and we'll go ahead and restart Mach 3 just because we went through the motions and did the uh, slave axis and they ask you to restart. So I'm going to come down here, I'm going to hit the new GAT and CNC profile, fire it up, and then it will pop up and ask me, saying it detects the UC100 motion controller that I've got connected to the USB. So I hit OK. And there you hear the uh, controller fire up there. So let me move the camera around and we'll jog this thing and make sure that everything's going the right way. Okay so we've got uh, got everything set. We're ready to jog this thing around. Uh, notice that I have both the green light and the blue light so I know my UC100 controller is working properly. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, zero all this stuff out here. And we'll start jogging around and see if everything is set up correctly. So I'll start with the x-axis. If I want to move it to the right, I'll push the right arrow key. And you can see that it's moving the right way. And also, if you remember, I had, a, I had to change the x to a green check to reverse it because it was running the wrong way. or anything on those uh, lead screws so they're still pretty dry so we may have a little, little groaning noise until I get them leave that. Uh, 
but that one should be aligned well because we, we did that when we put that acne net block on a couple of videos ago. Okay, so now if I bring uh, the down arrow key, the Y axis should move towards me. <laughs> showing the how to reverse it, I had to reverse the Y and the A to get them to move the right way. Uh, one thing I will really tell you, when you get ready to jog this Y axis for the first time, especially you know, since you just installed Mach 3 and you don't really know whether one motor is going to be right, maybe the other one's wrong and you don't, you know, it'll get racking on you, just to make sure before you ever jog that wire, actually before you even turn your controller on, just take a measurement somewhere here, something that you can measure, like right here I've got six and five eighths from here to the inside of that. And then come over here and check this one. If it's not the same, while the controller's off, you can turn these easily by hand. So get it where it's not racked. That way, when you do go to jog it for the first time, if it's already racked, you know, like this, and you go to jog it and it racks that way some more, you're going to be in some real trouble. You know, if, you, if it racks the other way, it may not hurt as much, but still, you want to just kind of take your time, just kind of tap that button a little bit and say, okay, yeah, it looks like they're going the correct way. And you should be, should be good to go. Okay, now finally we'll check the uh, Z-axis up and down. Page down, it's working good, it's going down, page up, it's going up, and that's pretty much it. So this machine is pretty much ready to run, I can do some calibration on it, uh, and of course I haven't even put a router on here yet. Uh, well, what I like to do is load a program uh, in, or maybe write a program that uses a lot of the table and just let it run a good bit because like I said, I've just got these clamped, I haven't fastened them permanently yet. So if I run it and as this thing runs, it will, you know, let you know whether you need to move these and get them lined up. So uh, I guess that's going to do it for, uh, for this. Okay guys, that's going to do it for this video. I know this was probably a really long one, but I, like I said, I figured if you uh, stuck it out till we got to that point, you know, a few more minutes, you'd probably hang around anyway just to see it run. So uh, that's probably going to be the last build video as far as getting it to uh, build. If anybody's got any questions about a certain type thing to do in Mach 3 or VCAR Pro or something like that, I'll, uh, you know, try to answer that question uh, in a video and use this machine to do it here. So. Hopefully, like I said, if everybody has uh, got their machine to this point, give yourself a big pat on the back because, like I said, you've gone from this to this, and now you're ready to start having a lot of fun. So that's going to do it. I know I've been long-winded on this one. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. And I appreciate all my new subscribers. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And uh, I guess that's going to do it. We'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching.